Welcome to Minecraft with our custom realms. In today's video, we're going to be entering brand new portals to enter custom dimensions that might be a little too overpowered. I'm talking new realms ranging from dirt, TNT, and even diamond to even some new secret ones near the end you'll have to see for yourself. Can I be the dragon? Where does this portal take me to? Stay tuned to find out. So we're going to be starting today in the normal Minecraft dimension. Everything around us completely normal. We got the savannah right here. We got a desert to our left and I think a village actually up there. Oh yeah, okay. There's a village literally right beside me, but I'm not going to be staying here for too long because as you saw from the title today's minecraft challenge involves us going to multiple new dimensions that includes tnt coal diamond literally any block in the game so if i go into my inventory real quick we have these things called an empty portal activator so for example i can put one empty portal activator right there and one dirt and then we get a dirt portal activator so yet again that probably doesn't make any sense just yet but you guys will see very soon what i mean when i say i can make any portal in the game out of any block in the game so real quick I'm going to make a new portal. And just like that, we now have a full on right click dirt dimension portal. And you already know I'm going inside right away. And once we go inside, we enter a literal dirt dimension. What the heck? <laughs> Well, there's actually like nothing here. It's kind of, oh, wait, is that weather skeletons? Okay, it seems like the dirt dimension is pretty empty. There's water, there's, I think that's gravel and TNT. Oh gosh. I kind of just want to showcase that there's new dimensions, but this place is kind of useless. So let's go figure out a better dimension. The dirt dimension, not the best dimension. All right, well, dirt portal activator, don't need you anymore. We have 15 more portals, so I gotta be a bit smart with the next ones. I'm thinking about it right now and we could probably do, oh, wait, a desert temple. Oh, okay, I wasn't talking about that, but we could probably do a diamond dimension, a gold dimension. There are so many possibilities right now for these portals. So low key. Wait, what if I make a wheat dimension? I do need food. Wait, no, I messed up. That's not how you make wheat bells. Oh my goodness. I'm actually so dumb. <laughs> I just wasted so many hay bales. That, oh, okay, that's actually no, guys. All right, we're not going to talk about that. Low-key, I could go into a bookshelf dimension. That would help a lot with getting XP or maybe even enchanted books. I don't really know how the dimensions work besides the dirt dimension. And as you saw, the dirt dimension was actually pretty useless. Oh, wait a second, guys. I have an idea. I do need some more wood. So what if I go ahead and make a wood dimension? All right, before I go to that temple, I think we should go ahead and go to the wood dimension. I'm going to waste another activator with this. But with this, we should be good to go with an oak log portal activator. And why not? We're not going to get wood through trees. We're going to go into the oak dimension. So inside the oak dimension, we have an insane amount of oak. What the heck? <laughs> okay, there's wither skeletons again. I don't want to mess with those. Literally, I have one life. Let's go ahead and just get a lot of wood and get out of here. I don't know why I didn't just chop down trees, but you know what? It's a cool dimension. We got TNT. We got oak. And we also have some nice planks. Not bad. Literally, there's so many portals we can make. I could make a cobblestone portal, another dirt portal, a door portal. Wait, could we make a door portal? Wait, what about a chest portal? There are way too many portals we can make. I already have my book, so I might make a bookshelf portal coming soon, but the main thing I'm going to be going for, guys, is the iron portal, gold portal, diamond portal, and if we do have enough time, I might even go for a netherite portal, which I feel like would be a bit too difficult to make because obviously we're going to be needing 10 netherite blocks, and I don't think I have enough time to get all that netherite. I should go ahead and make a TNT portal, guys. I could use a TNT for mining. That'd be really useful. And some bones. All right, we got some string and a uh, golden apple. Nice. I wish I could make a golden apple portal, but that's not a block, so, you know, we kind of have to ignore that. Bug, please be good. Really? 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 Curse of binding. Really? A witch is even laughing at me. What the heck? <gasps> that could be good. Actually, the dimensions have ocean, so we could try fishing in a new dimension. Wait a second. I'm going to go ahead and grab these chests to go ahead and make a chest portal. I feel like a chest portal would be really cool. <gasps> no, 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 no. Please, please, please. I literally just started this challenge. No, none of that. I am getting out of here. <laughs> Holy, what is he doing in there? Okay, we need one more TNT, and then I could go into the TNT portal. But once I'm done getting the TNT, I definitely need to go down mining, get some iron, get some diamonds, and go ahead and get very stacked so I can kill this dragon. Oh, wait, I didn't even see this. There's another book area. Low key, this might be actually enough to make a whole bookshelf portal. Holy, that is a lot of bookshelves. Okay, so we have the oak log portal activator, which I don't think we need anymore. We still have 14 portal activators, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a literal bookshelf portal activator. We're gonna be going into the bookshelf dimension, which I don't know really what to expect from this dimension, but I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be probably a lot of books. So, uh, definitely a lot of reading in here. All right, we got the bookshelf portal. It's time. Okay, let's hope it's nothing bad. Oh, and we are in and holy, this looks so cool. What the heck? All right. So yet again, we have a lot of TNT. I don't know why there's so much TNT in these portals, but we can actually make a TNT portal now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all the TNT I can. It's a literally a giant library and there's a lot of weather skeletons still. Okay. I want to stay away from those. All right, let's get some books real quick and then I'm going back. So after a minute of getting books, we have 
two stacks of books already. This dimension was definitely the right call. All right, I'm going to do this just for science, but what if we go into the TNT dimension right now and it somehow blows up? I don't want that to happen. All right, we got the TNT portal activator. I don't know if I want to go in here just yet, but let's go ahead and make the portal and I'm just hoping for the best right now. All right, let's do this. Holy, that is a lot of TNT. Okay, I am not blowing up this dimension. There's coal down here. Wait, what? I guess I'll go ahead and get some coal. Why not? But what the heck? Holy TNT. Okay, if anything blows up in here, like if I don't know if gas spawn or something, but literally if anything spawns here, I am actually dead. All right, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with this much TNT, but I'm going to get it either way. Right, so I may have gone a bit too much TNT. We're going to probably be using this against the dragon. I feel like I could kill the dragon on one blow up. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. I don't know why wither skeletons are in here, but you know what? We're getting out and I'm going to go mine some iron so I can get an iron block portal. But now that we've done all that, let's actually go caving, get some iron, get some diamonds and actually get into either a diamond or netherite portal because I feel like those portals are probably going to be very worth it and maybe very overpowered. Wait, hold on. To make a diamond portal, that's a lot of diamonds. That is going to be like 9 times 10 diamonds. That's 90 diamonds we need. What? Oh, man. We have 12 portal activators left, so I should probably be smart with these. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite portal from this video is because uh, I think the TNT one might be my favorite one so far. I just realized we only need 10 iron ore because I could just go ahead and make an iron ore portal. Okay, I'm going to cook this iron just for now because I do need some tools, but this is actually a really good cave. Any diamonds down here? Oh, some lapis and actually diamonds right away. Holy, we just got into this cave. It doesn't look like that big of a vein, but low key, I wish I had a silk touch pickaxe because then I could mine all these diamond ores completely, but I do need a lot of diamonds either way. So maybe I could also find a dimension that gives us netherite. Oh, wait, that's the nether. Never mind. <laughs> All right, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and make some tools because I feel like the wither skeletons are definitely dangerous in there. Got our water bucket. We did get enough iron ore, so I think it's time, guys. Let's go ahead and go into the iron dimension. Sooner or later, we'll go into the actual, you know, normal dimensions, aka the nether in the end. But for now, I think this might be the easiest way to actually get a ton of iron ore. So uh, maybe there's gonna be more stuff in here. Let's check it out. We're inside and there is lava in here. Okay, interesting. I did not expect <gasps> iron blocks. Okay. Oh no, but there's so many wither skeletons. Oh gosh, I might have to make a run for it. I'm doing it. How's it going, guys? Please don't chase me. Please don't. Ch they're chasing me. Okay, this is bad. If I die once, the whole video is over. I can't be having that before I get the diamond dimension. Okay, we're good. We're good. Never mind. There's more. <gasps> Iron blocks right over there. Okay. Oh gosh, I might have to fight this guy. Okay, I'm gonna fight this guy. Be careful, Nestor. One, two. Oh gosh, that's the first mob I killed all game. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at all the iron blocks. Okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the iron I can. All right, and just like that, we can finally make full iron. Holy. And one other thing I definitely need is probably a shield. Yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do. I mean, why not? Might as well also make an anvil. There we go. And if we need more iron, it's all good because if we're gonna be going straight into this iron block dimension, empty portal activator, block of iron, iron block portal activator activator. Such a weird challenge. Such a weird dimension. Oh, hello. What are you doing, buddy? What, what is he doing? Okay. All right. You know what? You stay there and live your best life. I'm going to go into an iron block dimension. Have a great day. And just like that, we are inside the iron block dimension, which honestly doesn't have much going for it. Besides like, I guess some lava and a lot of iron blocks. Might as well mine some iron blocks, but I think I might just be getting out of here very soon. All right. So, so far we've gone through six dimensions and wait, I'm back on the surface. All right. So we're back where we were before. I need to collect those diamonds before I do anything else though. Let's go. Sadly, we don't have Soak Touch, so I gotta mine the diamonds the old-fashioned way. Oh my goodness, it would've been so nice to actually make a portal that way. I mean, 10 diamonds isn't too bad. I'm pretty determined to get to a diamond dimension somehow. Oh, maybe a redstone dimension also. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, and there goes that. Wait, gold. Nice. Okay, so that's a four vein of gold. We're getting actually pretty close already to a gold ore dimension, which uh, I don't think we'll need to mine any more gold once we get the gold ore dimension. And we only need two more redstone blocks, and then we can actually go into the redstone dimension. Wait, is there TNT in the redstone dimension? Because that means all the TNT would actually blow up. Oh gosh, I, I don't want to break the game if I go into a redstone dimension. Oh wait, diamonds. Okay. What? No, 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 no. I didn't even see those. Oh no, no. Okay. That was a bit too close. I'm one step closer to the diamond dimension. I mean, we could make like one diamond block. Oh man, this is going to take forever, guys. All right, might as well. Let's go ahead and try this redstone block dimension. I feel like this might be a really bad idea because of the TNT, but you know what? I'm going to take the risk. Let's do it. Oh gosh, this place is kind of cool. And instead of TNT, we have a lot of lamps and I think that's quartz. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's lava too. Okay, I should probably just go back, guys. A really cool dimension, but I don't think there's anything useful in here for us. So, uh, all right, let's go back and, uh, yeah, we're not going back there. All right, time to search for more diamonds. More gold right there. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is way more than enough. Gold or dimension. I feel like it's going to have gold blocks. So let's go ahead and start making this portal. All right, we got the gold portal activator. Right click, and now it's time. Oh, it's kind of cool now. It's like a black portal. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that is a lot of gold. I don't know why I'm surprised, but honestly, all these dimensions are very 
very, very overwhelming with the amount of blocks. And I think I was right, guys. There are definitely gold blocks in the gold dimension. But how do we get over there? They're in difficult places. Holy gold. That is so much over there. Wait, what happened to my levels? Did my levels disappear? I just went through the portal. My levels completely disappeared. Did that happen with every dimension? I don't think I should be here. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. I just want some easy gold. I guess we got to fight, guys. All right, let's see if we can get one more of the skull from this. No, please don't hit me. I'm not ready for that. All right, one last one. Holy gold. There's so much gold right here. No. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's only a little bit of wither. Oh, my levels came back. Okay. That was really weird. Finally, some gold blocks. There we go. So, um, we now have 18 blocks of gold. And because why not? Because I am going into a diamond block dimension sooner or later. I think we should go ahead and make a gold block dimension and just see what's inside. Let's go ahead and make the gold block portal activator. Boom. Let's go inside. Oh, gosh. Okay. Holy gold. Oh, my gosh. Wait, why is there wood up here? But I'm just going to go ahead and grab all the gold I can. Get out and probably never come back. All right. Let's go back. Okay. So, we're back in, in a random random cave. Interesting. All right. I made a diamond pickaxe. This should make things a little bit quicker. I don't need any ores besides diamonds because if I do need gold and diamonds. Okay. Right. But like I was saying though, if we do need any ores, I could just go back into the portal and just go to a gold dimension or iron dimension. This cave is really nice though. Holy. All right. Next dimension we go to that actually has water. I might actually go ahead and do some fishing because that could be a way we get a good book, but the chances are probably really low. Oh, diamonds. Okay. I almost didn't see that. Nice. We actually have another diamond block. So now we have two diamond blocks out of the 10 we need, which is so many diamond blocks. It's not as hard as getting netherite, so I think it's definitely... Oh, di diamonds again. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, another diamond vein finally. Guys, I have been mining for way too long now. We now have seven diamond blocks, eight diamonds. I had to go back up. I made some golden carrots, which was actually really useful because we have so many blocks of gold and also another spawner over there. But we are getting closer now to our goal of getting 10 diamond blocks, but it's been quite the grind so far. So we only need around 28 more diamonds, and then we can finally go to the diamond dimension. It has been quite the grind, but we're almost there. So I had to waste some diamonds on a new diamond pickaxe, but we're now only one diamond and one more diamond block away from actually making the diamond block portal. And, uh, there are, uh, what? what? <laughs> okay. There's a diamond vein there and a diamond vein there. This looks like a one vein, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's just a one vein. Okay. This is like the first double vein I've found at this whole challenge. What the heck? That ends up coming out to be only seven diamonds, but wait, this might be almost enough. Guys, we have 10 diamond blocks. We're getting so close. We need three more and then we're finally done. Oh, an enderman too. Okay. I should probably be grinding. Oh, <gasps> two endermen, three endermen. That's perfect. Mr. Enderman, please, all of you give me your ender pearls. I would be very happy with that. All right, one, two, four, five. Nice, first ender pearl, not bad. We're almost there, guys. We are gonna be completing this challenge, even though it is quite the grind. And just like that, we got another ender pearl, two ender pearls, not bad. Oh, wait, that might be the last one. Yes, it's enough. Yes, okay, perfect. So with these 11 diamond blocks, I can finally go ahead and make a diamond block portal activator. And the best part, guys, I should probably do this in a safe spot so I don't lose it. But you know what? We're gonna get enough diamonds once we go inside for all the diamonds we'll ever need. Oh, here we go, guys. After all that hard work, we can finally try out the diamond block dimension. Not even diamond ore, the diamond block. Let's do this. Holy diamonds. Okay, I knew there was gonna be a lot of diamonds, but either way, this is actually crazy. What the heck? I wish I could make diamond block armor. That would've been really cool to get, but it doesn't matter because just like that, guys, we have 14 diamond blocks. Who needs iron armor when you're in the diamond block dimension? All we need now is just some good old diamond armor and maybe soon enough, we'll try and go into the netherite dimension. It doesn't look like there's any netherite in here, though. I think we're done here. It was nice being here, but I finally got to go to the nether in the end. And after all this time, we finally have the diamonds to afford an enchant table. I should have probably made this earlier, but I mean, we have all the diamonds in the world now. Efficiency one, definitely needed that. Sharpness one, not bad. Power one, protection one, protection one, protection one. And finally, you guessed it, protection one, protection one. And did I say protection one? Because protection one. What if I go into the cobweb dimension? Another protection one, by the way. So with all that, we can actually go ahead to make full protection to diamond armor. Definitely going to be useful in the nether and in the end. So you know what? I appreciate it. All right, time to make this portal. And finally, the ultimate dimension, guys. Something you guys have been waiting for, the nether dimension. And we're in, guys. Look at this. Completely new dimension. Not not really. It's just the nether. Let's go get some blaze rods and get out. What happens if we go into a netherite dimension? I'm going to do this real quick for science because I feel like it'd be kind of funny if we go into a netherite dimension, even though the nether is a thing. I'm going to go ahead and waste an empty portal activator on netherite. Let's see what this is. Oh, gosh, that's 
that's just the portal noise. Watch it just take me to the nether. Oh, wow. Okay, this is kind of weird. It's literally the nether, but with TNT and a lot of wither skeletons. I don't know about this one, guys. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is kind of weird. I'm inside of dimension of netherrack, even though the nether is a thing. I think I'm just going to go back. Probably don't want to be here. Let's go back into the nether. Oh, <gasps> we found a fortress. Just got to get in and out. I already hear the blazes. First blaze right here. I have a sharpness one. This should be good work. All right, blaze spawner right here. Should not be too hard to kill them. All right, I'm going to need around six blaze rods, and then I should be good. All right, that's four. I can already go ahead and make three eyes of enter. Not bad. Yeah, that should be more than enough. We're getting out of here. Wait a second. The fast way to get back might actually be just by making another portal, and it might take me back to the overworld. This might be the faster idea, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make a weird nether brick dimension. I don't know if this is going to work, but you know what? Oh, wait, no. It might work. Nether brick portal activator. All right, let's do this. What the heck is this place? Oh, wow. This is actually really weird. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here. So I think if I make a portal inside of a portal, it should take me back all the way to the overworld. I'm going to be wasting one portal activator for this, but I mean, cobblestone portal. Why not? Might as well go inside. All right. And it's all cobblestone. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a lot of weather skeletons. Okay. I do not want to be here. All right. Yeah, I'm going back. Please be the overworld. And it's the overworld. Perfect. Okay. We're in the middle of a desert, but this should be perfect for nighttime when we need to fight Enderman. All right. I'm going to try to get nine more and then we should be good. First Enderman. Okay. All right. Just one Ender Pearl and that would be appreciated. Yes. Okay. All right. That should be four at least now. I don't know if I should start heading to the stronghold, but I think I'm going to just try to kill as many mobs as I can. Ooh, that is a lot of mobs. Okay. Where are the Endermen? I need to grind. Okay. This might be the last one. You might call me dumb for this, but I, all I really have left is TNT. So I'm using TNT to fight the Enderman. So far it hasn't backfired yet. And that should be our last one. No. Oh, Okay, of course that happens on the last one. Okay, let's get out of here. That was a little bit of a grind, but we did get enough ender pearls. In total, we now have 12 eyes of ender, and there are so many endermen around here. There's endermen there, there. All right, we have to go straight that way. Not bad. In total this video, we've done 13 dimensions. So with the final end dimension, that's going to be 14. And I think I might be able to do one more dimension after the end dimension, which you guys will see in the end. Literally, in the end. <laughs> that was such a bad joke. All right, so we ran for a good bit. Where is it going to... Let's come back. Okay, if the portal needs 12 eyes of ender and one of these break before we actually get there, that is going to be so unfortunate. But it did go back, so we might be really close. I'm going to see if I can find it soon. All right, let's do one more. <gasps> I went back again. Okay, wait. It should be like right under here then. All right, guys. I think it's time. I think the stronghold might be directly under us. So I think this might be it, guys. Oh, wait. Is this it? No, no stronghold yet. I do hear some lava though. Um, <gasps> it's it. Yep, this is it, guys. Here it is. Okay, is that the portal room already? No way. Okay, I spy. Oh my gosh, I almost just died right there. Okay, we're not gonna be doing that. Actually, I completely forgot about one dimension I really wanted to go into, and that's the chest dimension. We haven't gone to the chest dimension, so once I find the portal room, I think I might just go into the chest dimension last second, see what's inside to go back, fight the dragon, win the game, and then go boom, boom, boom. <gasps> Ender Pearl. Nice. Oh, that should be it. There we go. Okay. All right. So before we go in there, I think there's a one final dimension we need to go into. But before we do that, let me actually test if this is even possible. No, it's not possible. We can't go into the chest dimension. Oh man. I was actually looking forward to that. All right. I guess the chests are a scam. Well, with all that being done, guys, I think it's finally time to fight the dragon. We do have one more dimension to go to after the end. And you guys will see that once we go into one second to last dimension, the end dimension. Okay. I think I have everything. I didn't get out apples? No. Oh, and I didn't get arrows. What have I been doing? No. You know what? We have a lot of TNT. We can go back into the TNT dimension if we need to. Let's do this. Oh gosh. Okay. We're in. Okay. I know I'm supposed to be fighting the dragon guys, but I have a little bit of an idea. I think we don't have enough TNT. So I think we might be going to the TNT dimension real quick and it won't be the last time we go into the TNT dimension. The dragon was literally coming straight at me. Okay. How's it going TNT dimension? I'm back. I just need to borrow some more TNT. That is a lot of TNT. I love it. Let's go back. I think we're now ready, guys. We got all the TNT we need, and I can also stack up to these places now. All right, let's do this. Wait, is this a bad idea? <gasps> oh, it's a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna use a different block. Don't use TNT to try to break end crystals. Not a good idea. Final crystal, final pillar, and then we can finally start trying to get the TNT explosion on this dragon. I'm gonna be a little bit bougie with this. Use a diamond block. There we go. And that should be it. Okay, so that should be all the crystals. Okay, let's enter pearl down. Oh gosh, okay. This is for all the marbles, guys. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. I don't know if this is smart, guys. I really don't know if this is smart. Okay, please, please work. Please work. No! You're a cheat! What the heck was that dragon? Oh no, that's a lot of Enderman. Okay, we might be taking a break from the end dimension. No, 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 no. I'll be back, dragon. I'm gonna go get some food real quick. All right, so I got some more stuff. I think we're ready now to do a round two with the dragon. I did not have food. All right, here we go, guys. I'm just gonna place as much TNT as I can. If the dragon comes, this should hopefully be enough to, um... 
Oh, wait, it came, it came, okay, okay. Oh no, I broke half the TNT. All right, let's do this. Please work, please work. TNT, go. It's not enough, but it might do a good bit of damage. That actually did a good bit, not bad. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. I need you to stay there. I have a lot of TNT for you. Here we go, guys, fire the hole. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, that did so much damage. Okay, one or two more TNT runs to go, and I think that should be enough to kill the dragon. All right, let's see where he lands. All right, okay, 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 okay. Like that, and one, 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 run. Go, 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 TNT, do your thing, please. Oh no, it's so close. One more TNT, guys, and that should be it. Oh, it's back down. This is it. Put all the TNT real quick, light it up, and I think this should be it, guys. That is gonna be it for Minecraft, but you can build a portal out of any block, and there we go. Oh my goodness, that was a grind. Let's get this dragon egg, and I have one more dimension to show you guys. I know it's not gonna be a dragon egg dimension, but you know what? Let's do that real quick. Grab the egg, and we are done there. Oh my goodness, that was a grind with the TNT. For the final dimension, let's try to go to the end stone dimension inside of the end dimension. This is probably useless, but you know what? I think we might as well try it. Real quick, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, there's like end city structures. Interesting. Actually a pretty cool dimension. Anyways, let's actually go beat the game. I don't know why the end dragon thing is still on my screen. By the way, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one, and here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys. Okay, this is Minecraft, but I transformed the overworld into the nether. Today, the nether has spread out of its dimension, replacing every single block in Minecraft. This means that I can find nether versions of every structure, as well as bastions and fortresses, by simply exploring the overworld. Caves are also made entirely out of netherrack, which makes finding diamonds insanely fast. Can I make it to the Blackstone Stronghold, and what will the nether look like? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, this world is actually insane. This right here is a forest biome, I think, and as you can see, every single block has been replaced. Right there is a river, and it's just entirely made of lava. That is actually crazy. I see some blackstone there as well, which is going to be so good for getting, like, stone tools. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves a wooden pickaxe really quickly. There we go. And if I just collect some blackstone right here, we can make ourselves a set of stone tools. Wait, is there a cave behind this? Dude, look at this. Oh my, that's iron ore. It's like merged with the nether egg. That is actually insane. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves stone tools and begin exploring. I'm actually going to collect a bunch of mushrooms as well, since this is like easy food. And also some more logs as well. There we go. Oh, I see something. What is this? This is a pillager tower. Already, I have found a new structure. This is actually insane. Okay, I'm definitely going to take these hay bales right here for food. And apparently they don't have weapons. What is going on, dude? This vindicator is just running at me with its fists. Anything good? We have four iron and food. Okay, and with this iron, I'm going to make an iron pickaxe because I can't actually get water since literally everything is just turned into lava. Oh wait, I see something over there. I think there's a village over there, dude. Okay, let's just jump onto these vines right here and just leave. Oh, and some brown mushrooms as well. I will definitely take that. Hold up, is that like a desert biome to my right? It's replaced with soul soil, I think. I see a desert well and a sheep for some reason. Um, I'm not going to question it. And this right here is a nether version of a village. Dude, Dude, oh my, do you guys see that? Those aren't normal villagers. What is this? They're literally pigs. What is this? And the golem has been attacked by something. There must have been like Zoglins in this pen and it's like had to fight them. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and kill the golem really quickly. And this should be enough iron for me to get like a bucket, but I don't even know if that's gonna be useful. I guess I'll just make one anyway. A lava bucket is always good. And there's a bunch of hay bales here too. So we're just gonna grab all of these and then I can just be set on food for the rest of this video. Okay. Oh, there's nether wart in instead of wheat. This could be quite good because I can make potions if I somehow get blaze rods. And I know for a fact that nether structures spawn in this overworld, so if I run around for long enough, I should find like a bastion or a fortress. So we can definitely make potions later on. And this is a leather worker house. Okay, let's just go ahead and... Dude, five emeralds, bread, and a saddle. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a horse anywhere, but like, I will take it either way. Can I trade with this guy? Three emeralds for pink leather trousers. Let's go. That is an OP trade and it's becoming nighttime, dude. Okay, I I wonder if beds explode. If they explode, I'm literally just gonna be killed right now. Please don't explode. Okay, it works. We can actually sleep, luckily. There we go. Okay, I see an acacia biome over here, so I could explore that and try and find like a village or something. There's a cave right here, which I could go down. I see a bunch of iron and stuff, and I see a desert temple. Oh, and there's a ravine right here as well, so I can just go down and collect a bunch of materials like right after this. And a horse. Yes, I'm definitely gonna tame one of those. Okay, let's check out this nether desert temple. I hope the loot is good, dude. Is that TNT? There is TNT. Anything good in the chests? We have 
have three diamonds, some string, golden apple, some more iron, and like a bunch of- Oh, I saw wolves as well, so bones is definitely good. And I'm just gonna take all of this TNT with me. Okay, do I want to go down this ravine, or do I want to search even more? I feel like, honestly, I'm just gonna tame this horse and see if I can find any other structures, because like, a bastion or a fortress would be pretty good, not gonna lie. And there we go, our pony has tamed. Now we venture into this acacia biome, hoping that I can find like a nether fortress. I'm gonna kill some pigs for food as well, because we're kind of running low. I can make mushroom soup actually. Dude. There is literally a Bastion right there. This is ridiculous. Okay, at least there aren't piglins because, like, it's the overworld and stuff. Are you kidding me? I see a piglin, dude. I literally see a piglin walking around. How are you here? This is not the right dimension. There's literally so many. Okay, well, at least the gold is, like, nice and away from the main Bastion area. So we're just gonna grab some Netherrack right now and we're gonna bridge up. Why is there a... Do they always not have a weapon? Dude, I don't even know what's going on right now. Piglin, you gotta chill. We're gonna put you in the lava. Okay, we are taking these gold blocks. Luckily, there aren't any other piglins, like, nearby. There's a hoglin right there, so I could kill that for food, but I think, honestly, after I take this, I'm just gonna leave, because I'm impatient all might, that was the best clutch. But I'm gonna have to fight piglin brutes if I wanna trade, and I definitely wanna do that later on, so we're gonna go caving right now. And to do that, we have to find a cave, so I'm just gonna run around. I guess we're going to the ravine. Okay, this looks pretty good anyway, so- Oh no, dude! I don't have water. That was actually close. Okay. So does this just like work like no it's literally just smeltable or made out of netherrack. And dude, this netherrack is so easy to mine. There's also blackstone down here. Should I just dig straight down? Is that a bad idea? I found something. Oh, I found a skeleton. Okay. And a creeper. Luckily, we have a lava bucket, so I can just go ahead and do this. There we go. And dead. Okay. This is actually the coolest looking cave I've ever seen. Holy. It would be even cooler if there were diamonds, though, not gonna lie. Oh, there's lapis right here, and the creeper is following me for some reason. And there's a Another skeleton. No, no, no. This is dangerous. There is lava literally everywhere. I wonder if there's a way that I could get to the nether because I know the nether has been switched with the overworld. So there are overworld blocks in there. I will somehow get obsidian later in this video and show you guys. Okay. I don't know how. I'll probably have to find like ruined portals, but it's going to happen. Okay. Oh, I found a mine shaft and it's made out of like crimson planks. This should mean that I can find diamonds nice and easily. So hopefully we can get lucky right now. Are there any chests nearby? Oh, wait. Massive ravine. Dude, I can probably get diamonds right here. I just have to be so careful because I don't have any water. If I fall in this lava, I am literally gone, so I think the best idea is to, uh, ladder clutch. Let's go! Oh, diamonds right here. Okay, there are literally so many mobs around me. So just like before, we're gonna, uh, just block clutch and put that above our head. We're not being risky at all. Don't even worry about it. Please be a good vein of diamonds. It's a good vein. It's definitely a good vein. How many is this? I think it was a six vein, so we have nine in total right now, which means that I can make a pickaxe and I think I'm gonna make a sword as well. And then finally, diamond boots, because it matches the pink trousers, kind of. Don't question it, okay? Oh my, more diamonds right there. This is probably enough armor for me to go inside the Bastion now, honestly. Oh yeah, I should get a shield as well. That would be a kind of good idea. How many is this? Four. I guess I'll just save those, and I'm also gonna make a gold helmet since the piglins won't attack me if I wear that. Make a shield. There we go. Oh yeah, and since this is netherrack, if I use TNT, I can probably, like, find so many diamonds or at least, like, extra caves. Because it blows up really easily, so let's just go ahead and, like, do all of this. Bang! Okay, I gotta run. Alright. This is slightly dangerous. Please be a good idea. Yeah. And did we find anything? I see lapis. I see redstone. Part of me is just expecting to find ancient debris, but obviously that just isn't going to be here. The final piece of TNT. Give me some diamonds, please. And nothing, but we did get flint, so that's kind of good. Okay, that was a pretty successful mining trip. I'm going to try and get some more iron on the way up, but I think I have enough gear now to actually find a fortress and also a bastion and actually beat the game, so this is going to be pretty crazy. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. No, 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 no. I am not dealing with those mobs. I must sleep. Okay, I'm back at the village, but I think I saw, like, yes, a ruined portal. Okay, so this is my obsidian right here. If I get this, then I can make inch... Oh my, there's literally a fortress right there, dude. Okay, well, I found pretty much everything I need. I can definitely make enchants if I just mine this. Okay, I think that was only nine obsidian, but I'm gonna dig around for the- Yes, anything good inside? We have golden carrots and obsidian. Oh, I'm literally one off making a nether portal and having enough for an enchantment table, but honestly, I'm fine with not getting enchants right now because we do have some pretty decent gear. And before I go into the fortress, I think I'm just gonna start smelting the iron that I collected because, like, I can make a chest plate and then also maybe, like, an anvil later. That could be kind of good. And after this, we're gonna go into the overworld nether and I guess find, like, piglins or... I don't even know. Iron chest plate, there we go. And is there or anything else that I could use, like a... Actually, I'll make a diamond axe, why not? And I think I'm ready to go, so let's just head straight towards that blaze spawner right there. Bridge over this lava river. There are wither skeletons here without weapons again. I'm not even gonna question it. Wait, if they don't have a weapon, are they like... Oh no, they're definitely not weak. Okay, they still do the wither effect. Oh, and I see a blaze. I don't have fire res, so I have to be kind of careful here. Bang! Did I get a rod? 
No. Okay, how do I get blazes to spawn in the overworld? Do I have to, like, make a roof or something? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, let's just, like, make a box right here and hope that eventually a blaze will spawn. Yes, it's working. There is a blaze here. Now, just give me a blaze rod. Oh, yes, we got it. Let's go. We are slowly progressing in this cursed dimension. Two more blazes. Okay, come on. And eight blaze rods. Okay. It's literally nighttime. I entered here when it was day. Okay. Oh, there's a wolf here. I can get a dog right now. Let's go. Hello, dog. Now, attack. Yes. Let's go. I should get dogs more in my videos. They are very cool. Why is there snow here? Well, there's another ruined portal, so I can actually get enough obsidian to make my enchants. So that is very good. Is that another desert temple as well? Okay. I'm just gonna hide in this desert temple and sleep because I do not want to like... Oh, wait, no. Am I gonna go on the pressure plate when I wake up? Please no. Please no. Please no. Oh, my. Wolf. Don't do it. Okay, anything good in these? We have two iron, a golden apple, and a sharpness one book, some more string. And finally, we have sharpness five. That is actually insane. Okay, I'm gonna search for another bastion and then maybe trade my gold there. I see another village. Wait, this is a desert village. I can probably make potions as well right now. Oh, is that a blacksmith? I think that's a blacksmith right here. Anything good in the chest? We have even more diamonds. Wait, can I make an enchantment table now? Yeah, if I get leather, which is literally on the books right here too. Yo, let's go. This is actually amazing. So, if I just go ahead and do this and then this and place a book right here, we already have the lapis, so I'm just gonna place this right here. And now I can enchant my stuff. Fire Aspect's one sword. Ooh, that is tempting. Is there anything else that could be good? I'm breaking. I think Fire Aspect is honestly the best. Fire Aspect one sharpness one. And now if I get an anvil as well, then I can make that a Fire Aspect one sharpness five sword. Oh yeah, I'll take the apples actually, because what I can do is just make them golden, because like I have so much gold right now. I'm just going to continue running around, dude. This is actually so insane. Like just seeing the structures. Ooh, I found a swamp right here. There are literally lily pads on top of lava. They do not live in this biome. I can literally jump on these lily pads. This is cursed. That's definitely not a good idea. It's definitely just going to disappear below my feet or something. Oh my, I found another bastion. This one is a treasure bastion as well. So there's going to be like a huge, insanely OP chest. I'm definitely going to have to use all of this gear because like there's going to be a lot of pickling brutes and stuff in here, but we can do it, okay? We have our trusty pink pants and diamond boots. Oh, I see another wolf. Okay, I'm going to tame this guy and use him to kill the pickling brutes for me. Does that mean? Is it going to get like insta-killed? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. He's OP. Now, do I want to go into the treasure room first or do I want to go into to the yeah i'm gonna wait to go into the treasure room honestly i'm just gonna take a look is there anything like okay yeah magma cubes piglins no we are going to the nice part first i can use some tnt just to grab some blocks right here as well let's just grab a bunch of netherrack right now oh i'm so lucky my wolf teleported and now we can just do pro minecraft wall running and go oh my that's not good i somehow scrolled i don't even know what just happened okay wall running v2 you guys saw nothing last time dude i hear the piglin brutes already oh my it's literally right there oh boy all i gotta do is get to the top of this we have a double chest full of amazing loot okay oh no the wolf died that is not ideal that's why i felt bad about taming it okay it's fine he served me well okay we have more obsidian we have a bunch of gold right here and i will take the spectral arrows and the arrows as well since they'll definitely be good for the dragon fight and then if i just go through here we should have another chest room um piglin just uh just be distracted you know don't even worry about me opening these chests mending sword diamond shovel very cool completed the set and also an iron block and ancient debris that's pretty good oh yeah if i get a netherite pickaxe i can enchant it and then just insta break all of the netherrack and get full diamonds so quickly. There's just so much I want to do in this world, man. It's actually insane. Oh, if I can get fire reds from one of these piglins, though. Oh my, I accidentally block clutched right there. Is he attacking me with a stone shovel? I don't even know what's going on right now. Oh yes, finally, dude, I got fire reds. This is so good because I can just like chill in the lava pit in the treasure place. So, oh, there are creepers and stuff in here. Okay, we're going to drink the fire reds, make some ladders for clutching, and we're going to go. Watch this. Oh my, okay, you saw nothing. Don't even worry about it. Okay, and if I just distract this piglin, we can finally loot this chest. Okay, two netherite ingots. Holy, look how many gold blocks. Diamonds and iron blocks too, so we can make our sharpness five sword. Okay, that is literally all I need. I can do my piglin trading in the actual nether after I build my portals, so we're just gonna get out of here and stack up even more. Okay, before we build this portal, there's a couple of things I wanna do right now. So first of all, we're gonna make an anvil. We have the exact amount, so we can just go ahead and like do this. There we go. Fire respect one sharpness five and there's also gravel right here which is perfect because i want to make a netherite sword and a netherite pickaxe because like a sharpness five by a one netherite pickaxe would be pretty op not gonna lie crimson planks go here and this goes here and now oh wait no 
What am I doing? That is not how you make a smithing table. Okay, um, I guess we're finding iron this way. There's literally some right here, so we're fine. Get our black stone for the furnace, and then we can finally make our smithing table and make this into a netherite sword. There we go. Netherite pickaxe as well. Okay, we are definitely quite stacked right now. We still have the OP leather trousers. And the final thing I need is a flint and steel, so we're just gonna do this until I get a piece. There we go, flint and steel. I hear a skeleton somewhere. And now it is time to check out the overworld. Holy dude. Like this portal and it is time. Let's see this. Oh my, this is actually crazy. Look at this dude. It's like a forest biome and overworld mobs are spawning. Oh, I see piglins. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do our trading here. I just need to find as many piglins as possible and get them in a pit. There is literally water instead of lava in the nether. This is actually crazy. Okay, uh, I just need to dig into the wall. No, no, go away, Hoglin. Go away, Hoglin. You know what? No, I have a shield. I can do this. We have a sharp five netherite sword. Like, we can literally like three tap these. Okay, so I'm just gonna collect as many piglins as possible right now. Let's just like break another gold block and make sure that they're following me. Okay, and then go in the hole. Yes, it is working. We have five piglins right now and I can just like keep getting infinite food from these hoglins with our OP sword. I already got pearls. I literally saw them already. This is actually insane. Okay, three ender pearls already and we can put like another just entire stack of gold. Actually, we'll put another stack of gold in. Why not? Like three stacks is pretty good. Is there anything else that I could get from the nether? That's the question. We have some more fire as, which is good. But honestly, like, because we have the blaze rods already, all I need is the pearls and then we can go back. So, uh... Oh yeah, I can actually get a water bucket, which is impossible to get in the overworld. So let's just do that right now. This hoglin's going for a swim. What is going on? Anything else? We have a bunch of arrows to Dude, so many. Two stacks of spectral. Any more pearls? Oh my, 13 pearls. Literally one more pearl trade and I have everything I could ever want. And there we go. 15 ender pearls. That is literally exactly how many I need. Uh, just go away, Hoglin. Do not come into the overworld. So what I'm going to do right now is make myself a god pickaxe because like since all of the caves are made from netherrack, I can just insta break all of this as soon as I get like efficiency one or efficiency two. So all I need right now is lapis and we just found some, which is perfect. I think I used the the old lapis on like my fire aspect sword so we got some more there we go efficiency one is my highest level enchant okay i think i'm just gonna be safe and enchant like leggings first because like if efficiency one isn't good enough then i think i'm just gonna have to get books and it'll be annoying so i'm just gonna try and get a level eight yeah okay efficiency two there we go perfect and does this yes let's go dude that was a big brain play okay so now to get a full set of diamond armor all i have to do right now is just insta break all of this netherrack and eventually i should just find some diamond ore so let's just keep doing this more lapis i will definitely take it since i can get like more enchants and stuff with this and I found diamonds. They're part of a cave, but like, I will take it either way. How much do I need for full diamond? We need uh 13 in total. So I'm hoping this is a big vein. It might be, how much is this? Five? Yeah, five. Okay, I will take it though. We can just go ahead and make ourselves a diamond helmet. So let's just do this. And the last piece we need, oh my, more diamonds right here. The last piece is the chest plate. We have a five vein right here. So literally one more diamond vein and we're going to be good to go. More diamonds. Let's go. They stick out so much out of this nether act too. It's actually insane. Okay, is it more than three? It is. It is definitely more than three. Ten diamonds in total right now, which means that I can go ahead and make myself a diamond chest plate. I'm gonna mine this lapis as well, since I definitely want to enchant all of this diamond armor, and I'm also gonna kill these skeletons. Ten levels in total. I'm just gonna put prot one on my chest plate, prot one on my boots, prot one on my helmet. There we go. And then finally, uh, we gotta enchant the shovel. It has to be done. Efficiency one. Okay, I think it's time. We're gonna go to the stronghold and finally beat Minecraft. I wonder what the nether themed stronghold looks like, though. This is gonna be kind of crazy. Or oh, even more diamonds. It looks like a one vein but i will take it and wait is that a giant strider dude look how crazy that definitely real giant strider is and if you made it this far in the video leave a comment about how op the giant strider was confusing the people who didn't make it this far is my new favorite hobby so everybody comment okay and we are back on the surface so let's just go ahead and make ourselves eight ender eyes right now and throw one just like that there we go it went like sort of this direction so let's just continue running went back by the bastion i wonder if there's anything else i could get because honestly i really want a crossbow right now like that would be so good for pairing with our two stacks of spectral arrows so okay there's no long lanterns which means that there's no chests at the bottom but there could be some at the top i think maybe any long lanterns i see long lanterns okay yeah if you guys ever want to find chests look for lanterns with two chains anything good in here we have a crossbow multi-shot okay i will take that it's only multi-shot one i think it goes up to like two or three i don't even know dude but either way that is going to be amazing for the dragon fight okay anyway now we can just go ahead and leave the bastion and throw another eye 
No, why has it gone inside? I think it broke anyway, so it's fine. Still this way, okay. And I see the bridge bastion in the distance. I mean, oh, maybe I can get another crossbow and combine it with this one. I feel like that's a bit overkill, but we're gonna do it anyway, okay? I'm just, I don't know, it just has to be done. I see a chest room up there, so there definitely could be another crossbow. Maybe quick charge as well, if I'm lucky, I don't know. Okay, any crossbow? Uh, we have a golden apple, but no crossbow. And nothing in these chests. Okay, I do see a sword, actually. Is there anything good? Looting two, hold up. That's actually insane. Anything in this chest, we have two more gold blocks. And the final chest has a crossbow. Perfect. Okay, so actually, it's probably an even better idea to keep both of these and just use them separately. Okay, let's just jump down here, use our water bucket that shouldn't even be in this dimension. Okay, it's kind of slightly changing directions, so I think it should be nearby. Oh, it changed again. It's literally in these like next four chunks or something. If I just throw this here, it goes straight down. Okay, I think I found it. And we found it. Okay, this is apparently the stronghold. It's entirely made of blackstone. This is crazy, man. Dude, this sword is just actually so insane. Oh, I found a library. Maybe there's a good book inside of this. We have just some regular books, which I could actually just use to increase my enchantment levels, but I think we're stacked enough, to be honest, with our shot by netherite sword. And then in here, we have mending and fire protection. I don't really need that, so it's going to keep running around. A chest right here. We have some bread and iron leggings, which I don't really need. And then we have... Oh, I found the portal room. This actually looks so cool. And there's one iron side, which is perfect, because that's literally what I need, I think. Oh, wait, no, I was fine anyway. I had more than enough pearls. Okay, I was going to do this. We have one left over for when the dragon perches. And now we are in the end. We have escaped that insanely cursed dimension. Holy. Also, if this video somehow gets 75k likes, I will do another version of this video, but with the end dimension instead. That would be so insane. Like end cities in the overworld. Anyway, let's just go ahead and shoot down all of these crystals. Oh, dude, the dragon's perching. Okay, uh, I have one bed. Should I just try and get a bed? Here we go. Place obsidian like this and... Bang! Okay, that was some good damage, but there's still crystals. No, 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 stop healing, dragon. Okay, all of the crystals are gone now, I think. So now it is time to take out the multi-shot bow. Bang! Okay, we got a hit. Watch this. Bang! Bang! Oh, yes, let's go. Dude, I can just dual wield both of these crossbows. And the dragon's perching right now, so we can get some amazing hits with our sharp five sword. Oh, my. Oh, no. Dude, wait. If I miss this, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I never miss. It's whatever. I actually don't. Like, I literally don't. I'm going to be streaming speedruns right after this video, so you guys can see for a fact that I don't miss MLGs. It's punching again already? Holy. I can get some good multi-shot shots in right here, too. Bang. Bang. Okay, let's get in here. Come here, dragon. Yes, dude. Oh my, look how much damage this sword does. That was actually insane. Multi-shot is so insane, dude. It's punching again. It's actually been like one second. That's actually so good. Oh my, I can get crits as well. It's dead. It's literally done. No, bad. Bad dragon. Yes, dude, let's go. I somehow shot myself with a spectral arrow as well. I'm not even going to question it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That was such a cool video to record, honestly. I had to replace like 1.5 billion blocks and it was just a crazy video to set up. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later. Peace.